what's good youtube it's your man flow back for another video and today man as you can tell by the thumbnail back out with another bang of video on It's not there, come on. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it working now. Listen, that yeah. wasn't me trying to make okay, cool. <laughs> Another episode of, of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, and we've got the men lined up. Make some noise, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and bring out some single ladies. When they come on out here, if she's your type, you know, the hair looking right, makeup, outfit, whatever it is, you know, if you like what she's saying, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything that you're just like, no, mm -mm, this is not the girl for me, I cannot see myself dating her, go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, let's do this. So, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. She's for sure the best one who does it. Like she 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 does it the best. Hello, welcome. I think everybody else who that. does What's your the name? Hi, I'm Driva. Driva. Okay, how old are they you? Don't, they don't do it. To I'm her about level. thirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. She's above thirty. <laughs> above thirty, you should be proud yes, of that. Yes, I'm age? above thirty. Okay, okay. And what do you do? <laughs> so I'm a podcaster of We Like It Hot podcast. I own Beach Seven Hair, and I'm a UGC creator. Mm, okay, very nice. And now, what do you look for in a man? So what I look for in a man is someone who knows himself and is someone who is consistent and someone who will value me. Mm, okay, so what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, honestly, just someone who's not gonna like put like, who's not gonna put me as a priority. Okay. Like I just need someone who's gonna put me as a priority. Got it, okay. Like okay. you can have a kid just as long as I'm a priority. Mm, okay. Got it. Okay. A priority. <laughs> and now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, okay, so something okay. I like to do for fun. I love my podcast. I love going. I love tubing. <laughs> I've just gotten into tubing. I love hiking. I love working out. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to like, you know, <laughs> stay fit. <laughs> um, and I love just connecting with people. Okay. Very nice. Mm. So, Driva, uh -huh. you got no pop balloons. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not going to switch it on over to you. Okay. <laughs> Why that nigga at the end? Why that nigga at the end, bro? I don't know. Something about that nigga at the end is. Okay. is so, Driva. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why? 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 Some, there's something about this nigga right here, bro. Something, something about this nigga right here. Right here. Something, there's something about this nigga we just don't we just don't know about just yet. We're gonna figure it out though. We're gonna figure it out. I'm telling <laughs> so you. So I'm now gonna switch it on over to you. Okay. First round, everyone always says, Oh my god, it's so tough. It's hard because you don't get to ask them a question. I'm gonna okay. have you pop two of the guys' balloons, just kind of based off of what you're seeing, what doesn't really fit into your usual, you know, physical type, whatever it may be. So let me hand you on over. That and then go ahead and pop those two. I like the and fact that it's all black. What people? about them makes them not really your type? 
Like, Honestly, at least all black really dudes. handsome. I was not I, expecting I like this. <laughs> like, hold on. Okay, can I, can I just like look at everybody? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't know. Like, let's see. You do look. You look a little bit older. Okay, and then one more. And maybe you. I don't know. You look. Mm. I'm sorry. Take this. I'm not good at that. Okay, so I'll just do it. Okay. But I feel like so I like we'll, you, though. We'll I don't know. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is I Reginald. I guess she's doing it off of, like, old. vibes and shit. And Reginald, what do you do? Because she probably did, I like, his vibe. And adults in the community, helping them live better lives and teaching them life skills. Okay, all right. So you did have your balloon unpopped for Driva. Why did you have it unpopped? Man, the way you came out, just such mm -hmm. confidence. It was amazing. Just your personality seems like it's just beautiful. Uh, somebody I could really see myself <laughs> getting along with. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Driva, why we end up popping his? The only reason I popped it was because I was thinking that you were a little bit older. That was the only reason. Okay. I'm All sorry. Right. No, I'm I, I, you're the only 33. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go on to our other one that okay. you popped over here. All right, if we can have your name and age. Uh, my name is Ernesto, 31 years old. And Ernesto, what do you do? Uh, I'm a model, actor, and barber. Okay, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, <laughs> beautiful, you know, great smile, great personality, very driven. That hair don't look real. Seems like she'd be cool to, like, stay at home and chill that with. That nigga you know, hair looks so. fake as hell. But, yeah. <laughs> now, why did we end up popping his? Same reason. I, I was thinking that you were, like, older 30s, but you're oh. only, you said you're only 31. 31, thir 32 in July. Not bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, Driva. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, just to kind of help Why you, you know, narrow down in that you know, more, who is more your type, all that good stuff. <laughs> Yo, I s this is the nigga with the dog, bro. I know. Hold on. I know this is the nigga with the dog. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show you if I can get it. I know, I know this is a nigga with the dog. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the name. I I know that's the nigga with the dog. I know, I know that's the dog trainer. Okay, like who has kids? Oh. Is that a oh. deal breaker for you? No, it's it's because like you guys have priorities above me. Mm. Yeah, just pop your balloon. If you got kids, pop it. Just pop it. Just pop it. Okay. okay. So two. Okay. Let's go over to those guys. Okay. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Priest. I'm 33. Okay, Priest, what do you do? I'm a comedian. Oh, shit. Okay, I love a comedian. So we see you pause for the kids. <laughs> Why she, yo, she just real, she high. She just real high. A lot of energy. A lot, it's on the couch. A lot of energy, you know, real bubbly, you know. Needs a lot of love and attention. Uh, you know, wants to be smothered by her man. You know, doesn't want her man to leave the home. You know, that type of shit. You feel me? Yeah, that's that's what she's giving right now. How many kids do you have? I got one. Okay. Yeah, I'm bougie with my with my thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what? He ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he just said he bougie with his. <laughs> This man just say he bougie with his thing. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. And I got a job too, so I I can't put my money over you, you know, put my money just fine. beneath you and shit like that. But that's some badass heels you got on. Thanks. Yeah, you look like Janet Jackson. <laughs> look like Janet Jackson. Do I? 
Okay. Now, <laughs> apart from him, you know, having a kid and everything, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Okay. How old did you say you were? 33. 33? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just giving. Just giving. <laughs> she, she looking for that age thing. She, she keep asking about age. She probably looking for like a, one of them uh, older niggas. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's head over here. Your name and age. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Okay. 40. 41 in September. Can't judge him off of age, baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic for a major airline in Houston. What did you say? <laughs> and Brian, what do you He's do? He's an aircraft, aircraft mechanic. mechanic for a major airline. Oh, wow. In Houston. That's dope. So I just came out here to meet you. <laughs> but I had to pop because. I do have a daughter. She's 19. Layla. Shout out to Layla. Oh, wow. Black yeah. don't crack, y'all. Like, you look good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, thank you, love. I'm going to just say props. Thank you, love. I got mm -hmm. that fault in the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so you said he does have a daughter. Oh, right. Like, it's it's but is he someone that is your type? Yeah. Yo, this nigga just talking is reckless. Grown. You said she she's grown. 19? She grown. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like, it almost doesn't even count. Right. Does it not her, count? The daughter being 19, that was. Yeah, that almost didn't count. You could have probably kept yours. You could have kept mine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any kids? No. Okay. okay. How old are you? Above 30. Above 30? Mm hmm. You're not confident in it? I'm waiting for my husband to have a kid. <laughs> okay. Cause I didn't tell my age, y'all. I that's mean, fine. that's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I think you gotta be confident in your age. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter how old you are. It's cool. We all grown up here. Okay. You know, we don't want little girls. We want grown women. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So definitely stand on that age. Cause the older you look, the older you are, the better you look. If you ask me. Depending upon the industry that you're in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you, though. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everybody Let's else. Let's over to our yeah. pop balloons over here. If we yeah. can have your name and age. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36 years okay. old. And Demetrius, what do you do? I am a talent acquisition, so staffing or recruiter. Okay, very nice. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Exactly what he said. Uh, the, the, I hate to say the lack of confidence in expressing the age. Okay. We all over 30 over on the stage. We don't mind you being over 30. Mm -hmm. We don't mind you being 40. Mm -hmm. we, ca we came on the show to make sure that we find somebody that we connect with and talking just that honest shit. and just be, uh, you know, open up front matters. You're talking that men. shit. So that's, that's really yeah. what it was for me specifically. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you're, you're very But why he didn't catch that the first time when she didn't say it? I like that. Thank you. <laughs> why you didn't, now, why you didn't catch it the first time? Your type? Um, how old did you say you were? 36. 36? Um, I would actually have to get to know you a little bit more past what you just told me. Yeah. Okay. I'm the only one with no kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all righty. Yeah. So we did get another pop over here. They all pop. My name is Mike. Did the, uh, the only nigga who... And Mike, what do you do? I'm a fitness instructor and a poet as well. A poet. And then why did you end up popping your balloon? The age thing. Since, you know, no children. I have a daughter that's 19 and my son is 14. So, you know, they're important to me, so. Okay. For sure. But I mean, you, you look good, like you take care of yourself and all that. So, I mean, I respect, I respect that you, you know, you want to reserve that for somebody. Okay. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Now, if Mike were to approach you, is that someone you would go for? Yeah. Okay. I'm more into personality. I'm more into like a connection, like having a conversation with somebody. Like, do I feel comfortable in your energy okay. is what I'm trying to feel. Absolutely. Like, looks is cool, but does somebody feel, does this person make me feel comfortable in their energy is what I'm looking for. Okay. No, I feel it. I respect it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here. We can have oh, He popped his balloon, name. too. My name is James. Oh, wow. Gourmet Pies, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> check me out. <laughs> Um, I am 37 years old. Okay. And uh, James, what do you do? I know you said gourmet pies. Yeah, I make the world's best gourmet sweet potato pies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm also a retired vet. So. Thank you for your service. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate it. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Why did she even do that? Um, she said get anybody them? with kids. You didn't. Get and I have two. Okay. Um, one is 12. The other one's 18. Um, so. 
I got kids. But I love your energy. I love the fact that you're driven and all that as well as a fellow entrepreneur and somebody who's living their dreams. That's somebody that's, you know, that's important. I see so. you. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I see you when you was coming out. I saw you, but you was like, you don't, you don't think nobody kids. with kids work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, All right. Thank you. I just want to preface that, oh, like this whole no kids thing, y'all. I just out of a two out of a two year thing with somebody with kids that like never put me first at all. So it, I just I feel like why I'm would someone bit. with kids put you know. first? Mm, so why hard. would they do that? that, that yeah. That's dumb. Like, um, for me, it's God first, and mm. then my wife, you know, and then the kids. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But who just said that? Who just talk? Who just, who's talking in the background? So. Mm -hmm. But you guys are all amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> all right, let's all go back this way. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. We end up getting oh. a pop over here. Why did we end up popping? If we could start with your name and age first. My name is Eric, and and I am 38. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so you're obviously a bright, shining light. You walk in, everyone you light up the room, right? Your personality is great. But I think that when you're in a situation like this, we've got to start with honesty. And we're, like you said, we're all over 30, right? And I think it's important to, to start off, hey, this is my age, this is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you're not okay saying that, then it, you know, it just seems like we're starting off on a bad, bad note. foundation, you know? So that was it for me. That's but cool. I, really, I really enjoy the way you're put together. I love the colorful uh, demeanor, right? And your presence, it's beautiful. So that's it. Thank you. You're well. I just want to preface one thing. Yeah. I do a lot of brand deals and they I do an age range. So that's right. why I really didn't want my age on the internet. I no, do no, an it's age understandable. Warrant. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. If I was it, dating just... you, you could definitely know right. my age. Just letting yeah. you know. Okay. But the internet like with like working with no, certain no, no. brands and right. stuff like sorry. Yeah. But Fair enough. Okay. So, All right. There you go. All right, Driva. Well, that was all the balloons popped. We weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, y'all. You guys are amazing. Bye. Take this mic. Let's give it up for her. <laughs> the American dream doesn't require a college degree. The Biden administration gets that. The president's plan is bringing back American manufacturing jobs, creating new, high-paying jobs in clean energy, jobs that stay here and can't be outsourced. Learn more. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, how old are you? I'm 30. 30, okay, and what do you do? I am a dental assistant, currently in school to be a hygienist, and then hopefully going on to become a dentist after that. Okay, all right, and now what do you look for in a man? Um, I need someone who's driven, um, someone who's caring, patient, mm. um, someone who's funny, because I'm funny, so <laughs> if you can match my funny, I'd like that. Okay, <laughs> and now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, honestly, just the top one is just a liar. Mm. If you can't tell me the truth, then there's really no no getting past that. Okay, all right. And now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to rollerblade, I like to kayak, um, hiking, because you know, I live in Arizona, but right. not <laughs> this time of year, just so you know. <laughs> um, hang by the pool, I like to go out and try new places to eat, things like that. Okay, all right, cool. So there are no pop balloons yet, so we're actually gonna switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hand you. It's a little toothpick. Okay. And off of the first round, I'm gonna have you pop two balloons. Just, you know, off of appearance, what's not your usual type, what, you know. Seem like these niggas ain't for. popping. So I'll have you pop those two. And because they honestly trying to give these and ladies. And ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. Um, everybody looks good, by the way. I see I was popping tags too, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then one more. You can stay there. We'll start with him okay. first. All right. If we can have your name and age. I'm James with James Gourmet Pies, 37. Okay. And James, you had your balloon unpopped for Jasmine. Why so? I just wanted to check her out. Like, I'm not one of them people that do surface level dating. So I wanted to hear what you, 
had going on, you know. When I heard kayaking, I was ready to pop because, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, I don't do all that, but, okay. you know, but I believe in letting, you know, her have her own hobbies. Her own hobbies mm. for her. Okay. okay. All right. And then why do we end up popping I'm at James Bond? Give her a um, you're very handsome. I appreciate um, that. Just the attraction level is not there. Um, you're a little bit on the shorter side. Um, yeah. yeah. See? Really, really about it. Around. I like that you make pies, what though. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. We ship nationwide. JamesGourmet.com. James Gourmet. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then let's go to the other one. You ended up He's popping. Not as short as we can have your she name. She popped a taller nigga. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years she old. She left another short and, nigga uh, on the line. Reginald, you, you had to do an unpopped. Why? I want to give you a chance, you know, just to get to know you. You are attractive, of course. I did have some questions in mind that I wanted to ask you. Didn't really get to that part, but it's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And now, Jasmine, why did you end up popping his balloon? Well, you're very well spoken, um, but I did end up popping your balloon. It's just the hair. I like it a little bit more tamed, I guess. Oh, I like tamed. hair, just I need it a little bit more, more tamed. Okay. Mm. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> That's All interesting. Right, thank you. <laughs> and let's go back over here. So we do still have quite a uh, few balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to help us narrow it down for you. Okay. Um, if I had to ask your friends and family um, three words that would describe you, like what would those three words be? Okay. If we can have your name and age and the three words that your friends and family would use to describe you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eric Ita. I am 38 years old. And the three words I would say, sarcastic, artsy, and why are you laughing? (laughs) And funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Good. All right. Name, age, and the three words. Priest, uh, 33, funny ass, (laughs) N-word. Okay, a phrase, I like that. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Let's go over here. If we can have your name and age and the three words your family will use to describe you. My name is Brian, I'm 40. I would say confident, funny, and spiritual. Okay. Spiritual. I All like right, that name and age and answer to your question. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius. I'm 36. I would say the three words would be determined, charismatic, uh, and giving. Okay. All right. Same thing over here. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Uh, my name is Ernesto, 31 years old. And I would say that gotta loyal. be a hair piece, I would say bro. Hard working and honest. Okay. All right. It's you gotta be a hair piece. Three words bro. your family and friends used to describe you. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Um, they probably say I'm thoughtful, creative, and funny. I like I like to sell jokes. So okay. Most definitely. I like that. All good answers. Yeah, you got a whole panel of funny guys, I guess. <laughs> 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 Tell a joke. Right. No, I'm <laughs> okay, yeah, that's so I'm crazy. gonna go ahead and have you pop three balloons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, based off. Of I feel balloons, like she's gonna pop him right heard, here. All that good stuff. This short nigga. Three. Mm-hmm. Three. 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 And the nigga that look like a trucker. I feel like those are the three. How to get the most of Grammarly free? It's Kayla on behalf of Grammarly to tell. That's a lot of balloons. I know. <laughs> um, she gonna she gonna pop that 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 joke. Short nigga, yeah, yeah, short. Okay, sh- two I, short. more. Trucker looking guy, hard. the I purple know. guy. I think it's gonna <laughs> be the purple guy. <laughs> and then you ready for your balloon? He said, "Here it is." <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Okay, okay, okay. I knew it, and then it's gonna be the t- it's gonna be the t- it's gonna be the nigga in the purple. I'm like, I ain't even looking at you. I'm it's gonna be the pr- it's gonna be the nigga in the purple. Okay. I it right, right on over the here. Top. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Honestly, that was really hard. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, um, if I had to say why I popped your balloon, um, I don't know. Just. The attraction level's not there, I guess. Okay. You're very mm-hmm. handsome, though. Very well put together. I like the polo. Mm-hmm. And you're matching it really nice with your shoes, too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Why well, you show the shoes? Other guys, the the one's right here. Why do you end up popping his? Um, just the height. I, I hate to say that, but okay. it's the height. Okay. Okay. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I knew it was coming. I was going to get her because I heard she said that to him. Oh. <sighs> But I wanted to hear you out because yeah. I like tall women, so the height <laughs> for me is really not a problem. Okay. The taller, the better. Okay. Oh, oh, snap. So that nigga. Only 5'5". Five five, but that nigga going so crazy. you got heels on, so you, yeah. so you pushing what? me out because you got heels on. Mm. <laughs> How tall are you? 
I'm 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Five, seven. Oh, she's taller than you, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought. Okay. No, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 All right. And then we did. Yeah. Nah. Nice. See, nice. Nah. See, nice. Nah. Five. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. <laughs> we knew girls here. Five. Um, you got a lot of jewelry on, and I'm just not really too big on the jewelry. I see. Do you have a gold tooth too in there? Yeah. Permanent. Um. So just, just that, just that. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. Our, okay. That's our right. cup of tea. Let's go back on over yeah, he, here. He not so we do with have that three balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys another question. Mm. Does anybody have any kids? It's yeah. not a deal breaker. I just want to know. I was like, so put so two pick down. Okay. <laughs> How many kids? Okay. Let's go down over there. Okay. All right, and I think she asked you how many kids you have. I have two children. Okay, yeah. how many baby mamas? Two. Two, okay. Yeah. What's your relationship like with them? Oh, we co-parent well. I mean, my kids are older, 19, 14, so okay. we've been through the ups and downs, but we had a point where everybody. Yeah. yeah. You said how old are you again? I'm so sorry. I'm 37. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right. So, guys, do we have a question to ask? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Let's start over here. How do you feel about kids? Do you want to have kids? I have a, a, a 12-year-old daughter. 12-year-old? Yeah. Okay. So if that's a deal breaker for y'all, let me know. But I do you have. You want to have more? Um, I'm, up, I'm open to that. Okay, yeah. Same. Right same now I say, person. you know, huh, but I'm, I'm single. So, right. and I, but yeah, I'm open. If I get married and me and my husband want to have a baby or two, two is all you're getting out of me, though, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So And they, gon- they come in back to back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You don't got no control over that. You though. got a question down here. How you gonna say you getting them back to back? And you, you. So the same question for you. What, what's your relationship with your children's father? Um, we co-parent really, really well. Um, honestly, I consider him family. Um, Ooh, family. So yeah, we and we. There's no like bickering, no drama. He's in a relationship. Um, he's happy. I'm happy. Um, it's all about our daughter and what's best for her so there's really no it's cut and dry with that haven't been with him for 11 years i feel like they're gonna go together questions here all right so let's say that we end up connecting Mm -hmm. what would you like to do what kind of dates do you like oh see the thing about that is i would like you to lead that Mm -hmm. um so you don't when a man asks me like what do you what do you like like to do like ask me out I would hope that you would have a plan on what we were about to do. Because I'm honestly down for anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That didn't answer his question at all. All right. But girl. okay. We de- oh, oh, okay. Before, he's like, wait, before you pop. <laughs> uh, what's the relationship like with the uh, father of your daughter's oh, child? You couldn't hear us oh, you couldn't hear? Oh, I didn't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I just went. Um, okay. We co parent very well. He's okay. like family, honestly. Yeah. Um, we don't have any like back and forth. We've right. been broken up for 11 years, okay. um, but we do get along very well, very okay. well. Cool. But there's no like side conversations or nothing. It's just like, hey, Shane yeah. needs this, blah, 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 blah. And that's really it. Okay. And what's, if you, if you did want to have more kids, what would be like the timeline? How old, how did, how old did you say you were? Oh, I'm 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what would be the, the timeline? And, and well, I should be entering school full time in October. Yeah. Um, that's two years. Um, so after that, then I can start popping them out. But then I do want to become a dentist. But I can be pregnant in school. It's fine. <laughs> I can be <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's as long kidding. as you're okay with me going back to school, like or continuing on with my education. Yeah. Um, I right now provide for myself. I'm not looking for anybody to provide for me. I just want an additive. Um, right. I'm not like searching for you to like give me an allowance or anything like that. I make my own money. Right. Okay. Fair okay. enough. All right. Damn. Pull all the pieces together and Damn. I ain't gonna lie. She, 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 she top right now. She top okay, right now girl. with them niggas. It's elimination time. Mm-hmm. So I'm mm-hmm. going to go ahead and have you pop uh, one of these guys' balloons. Okay. One of them? Mm-hmm. One. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm going to pop your balloon. Mm. Okay, so why mm. did we end up Because of the question. Is? Just the attraction level mm. between the, th- the three of them. Like, it's just... He's so the I less, less, less to okay. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Understandable. Yeah. All right. But you're very handsome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we do have our two guys left. Her final question, I'm going to have you ask over to them. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, oh, your oh, question. Yeah, okay, your question to them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, my final question. Um, oh, are you guys okay with me having a uh, 12 year old? Like, is that okay? I mean, obviously, okay. if they still got their balloons on pop. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, okay. Fine. That's a dumb question. I've yeah, I think that's uh, a preference, really. I mean, it just depends because we can kind of relate on a parental level. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to be like a priority above your kids so I can understand, you know, you being a parent as well. We can have conversations that only parents can have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. She's going to pop okay. boy at the end. Time I kind of, I, I, I feel like it's, it's I'm going to have you pop one of these they, guys' balloons. Okay. It's going to be the next. one name. question. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you seemed a little. Oh, okay. perfect. I was going to ask you the question because you seemed a little bit unsure about my baby. So that works out great. Okay. Eric, Dang. what you end up popping? Um, I don't like the timeline. I want someone who wants to, wants to have kids. Like right and away? Not necessarily right away, but two years. You know, she's going to school. You know. Perfect. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. I, I respect that of answer, course. honestly. But I, but she's been looking at me. I've been looking at her, I think. <laughs> so we had some, some connection there. <laughs> it's <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, let me you. Come nah, on. Nigga. Oh, my God. Okay. What? Let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Why did we end up popping? I just thought about it like, you know, when, when he asked you what you like to do, mm -hmm. it's not. It's easy to lead to plan a date as a man. That's mm -hmm. like. But as far as you just sharing your input, what you like, you share with that. He asked you, like, you know, what you like to do. I, w I want to know what you like, you know, so that I could yeah. have uh, ideas to make the plan. But, yeah. you know. I answered that in the beginning, though, what I like to do for fun. So when he asked me that, I was like, I literally gave you, like, five things that I like to do. So I wanted you to take lead. And I did say that's what I was looking for. But I respect your answer. Okay. Okay. Oh, I man, well, I really that's all the balloons popping. I really balloons. thought she was about to get that nigga. <laughs> that's crazy. Thank you so much for coming yes, on. Let's go ahead you. and give it up for her. Thank you. Yes, thank you. That's crazy. I felt like they would have been cool together. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Mayowa. Mayowa, how old yeah, are you? Iowa. I am 32. 32, okay. <laughs> and what do you do? I am a business owner of seven years. I'm a lash instructor. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, yeah, why well, would one start popping, ethic, they just start popping? Um, That's ridiculous. A lover of art, whether it's like music. Did she get bo her body? Is it because of her body? Painting, mm. anything. Okay. Um, yeah, and someone that's just emotionally available. Okay. I think it, and now, what are some of your deal breakers? I think it's probably because the only thing would she be like, like she got her body done. And I think I owners. think that's mm. what it's gonna okay. be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's yeah. go ahead Damn, and go the first these guys and see why they ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> Let's start right here. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Eric, mm -hmm. and I am 38. Mm -hmm. Eric. And the reason Eric. I popped it is, I don't like heavy eyelashes mm -hmm. and there's <laughs> something going on with I feel like the left one is just so heavy it's way it's hard for you to keep your eyes open or something oh okay there's something yeah so okay I, yeah there's something going he on. didn't want he didn't okay. want a disher mm -hmm. he didn't want a then, he didn't um, want a yeah, disher that, that was the, yeah, the first thing that caught my eye okay so he I'm didn't want to. He didn't oh, want to be dit like. Your, that's your thing. Is this a preference? You know? For sure, so. absolutely. He yeah. didn't want to so. dish her. And now is um, Eric someone that's your type? No. I would say no. Yes, because I. You're Nigerian, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Shady, speak. You speak Yoruba. Yep. Uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go over to our next guy here. Absolutely. If we can have your name uh -huh. and age uh -huh. while you ended up popping. Yeah, uh, priest thirty three. Hey, you look like a black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I go broke. I go broke. <laughs> and I have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. <laughs> Boy, I need four, five jobs. To <laughs> you look so funny. <laughs> Make you that. Boy, you is. Yeah, you got some pretty toes, too. Yeah. Oh, my and now gosh. Y'all up in the Zoom in the what the fuck? What is he? Yo, that nigga is ridiculous. 
<laughs> Yo, that nigga ridiculous. Hold on, let me see if I can find this nigga though. Cause I swear that's him. I, I swear that's him. I swear that's him. I know that's him for a fact. I know that's him for a fact. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, Eric. Eric the dog training nigga. Yeah. Yeah, Eric. This is Eric. My back, and I come here unstopped. And with the correction, you don't want a correction that she's already turning with you. You turn and he doesn't turn, and the, the leash now gets him. Okay. Just say, okay, turn and see if he turns with me first. Okay. There you go, and then turn again. There you go. So whenever he, so don't, don't get in the habit of just, okay, and then yeah. popping the leash, because he's gonna try to escape that pressure okay. every time. Yeah. Good. Okay. Stop. Good. Like a mama. Yeah. Me got a mil. He got a hundred. What point four million? Yeah. Eric. Eric. Eric getting to the bag. Eric. Eric getting to that bag. But yeah, this nigga went to. Uh, is Chris crazy. Crazy. someone that's your type? I would say uh, no. Yes, I love your style. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yes, ma cool. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> okay, if we can this have nigga, your name and age and why you ended up popping He's on your something. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 he's years old. He's on mm -hmm. something, bro. I pop my balloon because I can see through your shirt. Oh. Through the bottom of it? Yeah, I not can, the nipples, though. Yeah, I can see through it. For me, that's just a little too much. I don't wear this cross just for any reason. Absolutely. And so, yeah, it's just, I'm not feeling it. I respect it. Appreciate you. Mm hmm Oh, he took his jacket off. Reginald, someone, if he were to Why did he take his jacket type? off? Um, no. I I don't go off types just off of looks. So, um, I would say no. No. Mm, okay. You no. want to be specific? Yeah. Why? He just has on all black, and I just felt like maybe it just feels like you didn't put any effort into your outfit. He took. He literally <laughs> took the jacket off. Hey. I respect that. He literally cool. took the jacket off. Thank you. Let's go on to our next he guy here. He should have kept the jacket on. He right, literally you took the jacket off. Agent, why you ended up popping? Absolutely. My name is Dimitri. From the last, the last girl. Mm -hmm. He took the jacket and off. That's ridiculous. The only reason why I popped is just I, I didn't feel a physical connection okay. initially. Mm -hmm. And so that's all. That's the only reason. Perfect. Okay. And what about him? If you were to approach no. him, would you go for that? No. Um, no. Just the height thing, Why? but that like uh, height doesn't matter to me. But if we're just judging off looks, then no. Okay, got it. No mm. problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old, and you're very beautiful. Thank you. you know, black Barbie, <laughs> physically, definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> but just the first impression, because yeah. you know you have to go off of first impressions. You seem very business minded right now, and you know, I'm looking at the age where I need a, a woman that maybe has one thing going on with business and then has more time to kind of develop a family. I'm just going off of first impressions. Yeah. Tonight, but you're very beautiful. And Thank yeah, you. it was very nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get what he's saying. To make sure it's he's not feeling him. No. Um, no. 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 Okay. Why not? Again, height. Um, His hair. Mm. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Dan, the cameraman. Dude. Actually, we got one back here before we yeah, go yeah. down there. Yo, the cameraman is on point. This nigga is leave, is not letting nobody breathe. If they say anything physical, he's zooming in. She said the hair. Zoom. That nigga on point. Air. Yes. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up. He popped because of the height. You see, I get discount. He popped because he heard the hype thing. <coughs> My name is Brian. Yeah. I'm 40. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't oh. think love have to do with height. someone's height. I don't think so or either. Or with a woman's weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. With so a woman's I love weight, talk. you said? I don't, ha I don't think height has to do with a man's height. Uh, love has to do with a man's height or with mm -hmm. a woman's weight. 
Yeah, absolutely. Right? I absolutely agree. I think love is at first sight. I really do believe that. Mm -hmm. I was kind of loving you <laughs> right now, but when you said that, that was like a deal breaker for me because I'm the shortest <laughs> one on the panel, mm -hmm. but I can hold my own weight. I stand on that. Oh, absolutely. And you and should you not was a have winner. popped your balloon. You was a winner. Mm -hmm. You almost won. I was forced to say what it was. Uh -huh. I would have said it in real life. Right. I date short men and tall men. Okay. So, unfortunately, I'm sorry. That's no problem. <laughs> she said you shouldn't have pops. The height is not really a deal breaker for yeah. her. What I heard it, though. It shouldn't have been said, you know. So, for a shorter man, you I'm know, sorry that's that hurt your like feelings. I'm, it didn't hurt uh, feelings. Nah, you because, know, it's just that. Come on, man. Not you trying to say. Not you trying to say. I'm sorry that hurt your I'm sorry that hurt your feelings. Nah, shorty. You know exactly why he popped. He heard what you said. And most likely, if we being honest, you would have you would have you would have popped his balloon too. You would have damn for damn sure when it I need I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get that fixed. I'm gonna get that fixed. We we both know, Shorty. If it came down to it, at the if he would have left his balloon unpopped, and it was him compared to a taller man, he would have popped his balloon. And we know why, cause of the height. So don't make it try to don't try to now make it seem. Like, oh, I'm sorry that I I hurt your feelings. No, no, that's that's not what it was. We we know that's not what it was. You know that's not what it was. But now you want to try to make it seem like that's what it was when we all know that's not what it was. But it's it's okay. It's cool. We just going to get it. Um, you might not choose me. I want a woman that chooses me as well as I choose her. Okay. So I was choosing you. Mm -hmm. But when you said something, it just disqualified myself. So Okay. Yeah. I respect that, though. You're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I've been Asian why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We, me and my man got a similar haircut. I know it's an individual thing, but like, over haircut, it seems like, I don't know. Y'all haircut is not the same. You're kind of like faded on the side, I see. Okay, yeah. And like, I just, I don't know. Like, I, go, I, go, I keep it clean cut. I don't know if you had a preference as far as like, you know, just it not, it needed to look a certain way, but it seemed pretty similar. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't nothing personal. Yes. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is James with James Gray. Um, you know what? Contrary to their beliefs, um, I do love that you're business minded. That the other one that I want to contradict a little bit is the height. You know what I mean? Like for me, I've dated taller women, and there is a stigma around that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like um, either you gotta like love them because they're taller, or there's like a fetish with a taller, shorter person. I don't know. It was just a problem with dating taller women in the past. So to be a stigma. He was short because like, like that was the reason why he wasn't my type. That was just the first thing that stood out. Everyone feels thing. Yeah. Out to the club or something and you wearing heels, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I feel yeah. like, okay, let's continue. They, they it is unfortunately. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have a dog they that do it you out of your talking, front door bro. or jacks you down you the already, street? Do you have to like, conduct you, surveillance? You know what it was. You know at the end Single of the day. Single lady. You know at the end of the day, yes, you date tall and shorter men. But it, if you're going to go and pop a nigga balloon and when they ask why you popped a nigga balloon and you say, well, you're short, then any other nigga that's shorter than you on the panel is then going to think, well, she's just going to pop my balloon too because I'm short. So the fact that you said that, and now when another nigga pop his balloon, and you say, oh, I'm sorry, I hurt your face. No, bitch. You just said something dumb. They'll be mad because they took the dumb shit you said, and they ran with it. You said it. You said something dumb. Damn, is anybody going to get matched Hello, up with somebody? Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your oh, name? Sade. Sade. And how old are you? I'm 33. 33. Okay, and what do you do? I work in sales for an electronic company, and I'm also a children's book author. Oh, oh shit. Nice. She, she uh, what are some books. things you like to do for fun? Um, anything Read, adventurous. Read, write. So, like, skydiving. Oh, I really shit. would like to go on a hot air balloon before the year ends. 
traveling, trying new foods, cooking, anything that's fun. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Honest. You must be honest, intentional with your time. Um, those are the main two things that can tell a lot about a person. Okay. Oh, and not too many kids. Okay. Not <laughs> too, too many, many kids. Um, no more than two. No more than two. Okay. And no more than two baby mothers. Mm, okay. No more than two kids <laughs> and right. no more than two now, um, is that baby a mamas. For you? Do you have any other deal breakers as well? That's a that's a that's top a contender. One. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. So we did get a pop balloon down there. Let's go on over there. See what's going on. Hi. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Um, it wasn't just the kids, but it's just more so just the energy I can kind of feel that would probably just be cool, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and what what energy is like? What are you getting? Like just somebody like I got three sisters, so like I just get that vibe. Like we just be cool. Like you know, not really like romantic. So he not getting a romantic okay. feeling okay. from right. her. Now is Mike someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. Oh, what makes him your type? Tall, dark, um, handsome. I don't beard. really have a type mm. in particular. Um. Then why'd you say yes? Saying he has kids is. A no for me. You got it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. We did get one right here. If we can Damn. have your name the, and age the pastor. and why you popped your balloon. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. He put the jacket uh, back on. You I see did, that? Uh, just the energy. You see that? Uh, that just, nigga put I'm the jacket. He put the jacket back person. on. And I'm. Because the last yeah, shot he yeah, said he was wearing all black. Okay. He put okay. the jacket back, back on. <laughs> but I do love the hair. Unless they did it out of order. I love that for sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And now, is, if he were someone that was to approach you, is that no. something you would go for? No. Yes. It's unfortunate that you popped your balloon. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, She's feeling him a little too much. All right. Let's head on back this way. So we do still have quite a few unpopped balloons. Okay. So I'm going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to have you pop two guys' balloons just based off of, you know, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's the alpha hair, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'll have you hold that, mm -hmm. and then you'll pop the two, and then once you pop them, I'll go ahead and ask you what it was about them that you popped. Okay. Short. He's short. Okay, and then one more. Short. Okay. Short. This way. Oh, I'll have you stand right there. Okay, if we can have your name and age. James with James Gourmet Pies, 37. Okay, and uh, James, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why? Again, I'm here to hear everybody out. I don't want to do surface level dating. Um, see... What she got to offer, what she got to say. Okay, so if you saw her out, is she someone that you would approach? Possibly. Mm. Possibly, no. Po I love no. Her hair. So nah. that would be the initial, you know, conversation starter. Mm -hmm. And then after she not that, feeling him at I would all. hear what you have to say. And she not feeling him at all. She not even if matched up. Then what you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She not liking no. him at all. Why did we end up popping James? He's short. Balloon? Um, it was simply the height. Exactly. That was it. Exactly. Okay. Got it. And the okay. same thing for the other <laughs> nigga. And so he sh he's shorter than the black dude. In, if we can have he's shorter than the age. nigga at the end. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Okay. And Brian, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I love that she has standards when she asked who has kids and how many baby mamas and things like that. I love a woman with standards, and that's what I saw. Mm. Okay. Got it. And now... I know you told him about the height. I'm guessing height is that the same thing happening here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, height. <laughs> you don't like short men? Nope. Not particularly. Okay. That's just um that's just my preference. No problem. You okay. definitely have a preference. All right. Cool. That's okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. The American dream doesn't work Not looking good for them. The Biden administration gets that. The president's plan And it's is cool. You can just American say that, you know. Y'all could y'all can literally just say that. Like if you don't like a nigga who's short and you pop a nigga who's short, just say it's because he's short. But then don't 
it, it just bring me back to the other lady because she popped that nigga because he was short, said he was short, and then got got a little attitude when Bull said, "Well, I'm short too, so I pop." Like what? You gonna give an attitude because he popped because okay, of what you let's said? Head on back this thing. way. But so right. we do have uh, four guys left. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to kind of you know four help you narrow it down lot. to who's more your match. Um, how do you manage stress? Ooh. And conflict. Got it. How do you manage stress, stress and, and conflict? conflict. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Start with the first guy here. Thanks we can mind. have your name and age and the answer to your question. Okay. My name is Eric. I am 38 years old. Um, I do have a generally stressful job, but I'm I'm easygoing by default. So I try not to, things don't stress me out that much. But mm-hmm. I'm a dog trainer and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dealing with stressful situations. Um, I do have a level head by default, so I think that it, I don't, yeah, I don't often feel very stressed out to begin with. I love music, mm-hmm. so every morning I wake up, I play music, I start my day with some Andy Grammer, some Burner Boy, yeah. and I'm always, you know what I mean? It puts me in a good mood, and then I'm just good for the rest of the day. How about conflict? Um, I do like to have like some time between arguments, like 12 hours or so, just to think through it. I don't want mm-hmm. to say things. I try not to. I don't remember the last time I've called anyone out of their name. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I like to give some space in between. Some people like to solve the problems immediately. Mm-hmm. I like to think through it. If I'm wrong, I will come and tell you that I'm sorry and keep it simple that way. 12 hours? It's half a day. I have stuff to do. You have stuff to do. We shouldn't be sitting there going back and forth in text messages. You know? So if it feels like it's going to be stressful, take a break and then come back to it. Okay. Yeah. She not fucking with that answer. <laughs> she not fucking with that. She want a nigga that's gonna sit there and argue with her. Priest, I'm 33. Uh, as far as stress, I don't, I don't got stress in my life. Uh, but if I do have stress, that's when I go to the Bible and read it, because keeping God first, uh, you know, I'm thankful to be alive and breathing. There's people out here going through things worse than me. Mm-hmm. As far as conflict, uh, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna go back and forth with you. I'm do a comedy show and then I just, yeah, I, I'm 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 a comedian by default, so I'm gonna just talk shit about you on stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I handle conflict. So I just that's why I don't have any conflict with anybody I talk to. What? What is this nigga on? <laughs> this nigga is ridiculous. This nigga is ridiculous. He said, I'm going to just talk shit about you on the stage. That's wild. So, I turn that shit into art because comedy is my full-time job. So does that mean that you're maybe avoiding things if you always make a joke out of it? Got to avoid it, man. I ain't got time to be going back and forth. And that interfered with mm-hmm. my job. And then it interfered with my performance and money. Okay, mm. thank you. Yes, ma'am. She's not fucking with that answer either. We can have your name and age and the answer to her question. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Answer to your question. Take everything to God. Cast your burdens and your cares on him because he cares for you. I found that every area of my life, it don't matter what it is, I can always go to God. He's a counselor. He's your best friend. He's my first love. I heard somebody say before that their mom was their first love, but he's my first love because my parents always taught me. She's not fucking with him. She's not fucking with him. Hear about that person? I want to know what's on their mind. Is in that, or I could actually ask. I mean, it's it's wrong for me to skip because I did. Um, also, if we are arguing and I realize that the conversation is not really going that well, we could take a minute. It's not going to be twelve hours. <laughs> it's not. I'm gonna try to get back as quickly as possible because I don't want the demon setting in. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pray. And that prayer don't have to be that long. God, you know, give me the grace to be able to do this. But I want to get it resolved so we can get back to loving each other and enjoying our lives. What is your communication style? What do you mean? What is your communication style? Direct. Conversational. Um, that's my interpretation of your question. Conversational. I'm not here to argue, fuss, and fight. Can I raise my voice? Yes. Do I like to raise my voice and do I try my best not to? Absolutely. We're not each other's enemies. Mm-hmm. I look at it as more of if we have an issue, I don't mean to sound too spiritual, but I feel like that's the devil trying to come in and mess up what we got going on. And so I'm going to put my foot on his neck 
Not my woman's name. She not fucking yeah. with that. You're welcome. Yeah, we got one more over here. This lady. If we can have your I'm name and age, lie, and answer to her question. All right, my name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old. And um, to answer your question about stress, um, I have a, a gym routine that I have. Every morning I go to the gym. I walk my dog. Um, talking to my partner and, uh, you know, through what I do, like modeling and also but through barbering, it relieves my stress because you're focused on one thing. So, um, and as far as conflict goes between relationships, um, you just got to be, talk to each other face to face, not over the phone, not text, go in and talk it out. Even if it gets a little dicey, not mm -hmm. too crazy, a little dicey, talk it out and then move on and go from there. So. Okay, thank yeah. you. She not fucking right. with so none of She don't got no vibe, no energy. She I'm going to go ahead and have you pop she two just of these guys dry. off of what you've heard. She going to pop the first nigga for the 12 hours <laughs> and the second nigga for joking on the stage. Watch. Second nigga, yeah. Okay, and then one more. First nigga. When she heard that 12 hours thing, she was like, fuck no. She said, for 12 hours? We gonna, we not going to talk for 12 hours? 12 hours, yeah. All right, let's start with him. Why'd you end up popping? Uh, 12 hours, watch, 12 hours. Um. 12 hours. Just the response. I just wasn't, just wasn't really feeling the response about. 12 hours. The stress and the conflict. That's it. What about it, though? The response that you like specifically? The 12 hours. Mm. She don't remember. Is it the 12 hours or three hours? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, 12 hours. You really need 12 hours to cool off and not talk to your partner. It's not, it's not about cooling off. It if is, I, though, if you need 12 hours. It is about cooling off and having to really think about what you're going to say to me. Right. You have to, think, you have to think too hard. I can understand maybe, like, an hour or two or just how to just control your emotions while we're in the moment. Nah. Because she like she like to argue. argument, and you're supposed to be like the one for me. Like, hopefully, my husband. Mm -hmm. You're not about to cool off for twelve hours. We're about to talk about it right now. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, right. she like to. She like. Why we pop his balloon? <sighs> the comedy as aspect. Then you say you're gonna go on stage and, and talk shit of it. Hey, turn it into turn it into art. Make that money. Take you shopping. <laughs> Okay. We'll talk you. about the conflicts while we shopping. So you're materialistic? Nah, nah. Just talk about the conflicts while we shopping. You or look like Jordan Sparks, though. Oh, my God. He... Oh, oh shit. This nigga cracked out, though. He, he, yeah, he toxic. He, yeah, yeah, he a toxic nigga, bro. She like to argue, and, and he toxic as fuck. That's, that's ridiculous. You do. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Do we have a question for her? I have a question. Okay, let's start here. I noticed you did not pop my balloon when I talked about God, so I wanted to ask you, what's your relationship like with Jesus Christ? If you don't mind sharing. Yes, yeah, so my relationship with God is very, very important. Um, I'm just still working to have a better relationship with him. Um, as an adult, I'm hoping to be to get rebaptized at the end of the year and find a church home on my own as an adult. Um, Having God and Jesus Christ in the center of your marriage is very, very important. So I would say that I have a, a great relationship with God, and it's all about having a personal relationship and not just hooting and hollering in the pulpit every Sunday. It's Sunday through Sunday, your personal relationship with God. So that's why I did not pop your balloon. Thank you. Mm, he liked that answer. Any question down here? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I know that you write children's books. I think that's very cool. What got you started in writing children's books? Um, it was a personal experience. Um, so the title of my children's book is Why Do You Talk So Proper? So I'm sure you mm. can relate. relate or can figure out what it's about. Mm. So it was all about personal experience. Um, and then when I was doing my research, there wasn't a book that existed about that specific topic catering towards black children from the experience of a black person. Mm. So that's why I wrote my children's book. That's a good that's answer. Cool. Thank that's you. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. All right, girl. Time to pop one of their balloon. 
Uh, are we gonna? May I ask another question? Okay, let's do that. How do holidays look like in the future with your family? I love that question. Mm -hmm. Holidays in the future, my family definitely going to talk to my lady and see, hey, for this year, do we want to go to your parents? Do we want to go to my parents? Mm -hmm. Do we want to do our own thing? That's just a conversation because it's about us and whatever makes us happy. I've had so many years already with my parents and man's supposed to find his wife, supposed to do his thing, mm -hmm. leave his father and mother, cleave to his wife. I'm all about that life. So get me get me gone <laughs> what's your favorite holiday oh wow i would say my favorite holiday is christmas because i love to see other people receive gifts um the last christmas me and my brothers we decided to not give each other anything but put all that back into our parents and okay. then to our nieces and nephews because they're little ones and okay. the memories for them how many siblings do you have i have a lot i have five brothers okay i have two sisters so it's eight of us where do and you, I got some where are you from? Friends. I'm from Texas. What part of Texas? I'm from the Austin area, but I live in San Antonio. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> why is she so... Why are you Bro, looking... Why the hell is she giving off, like, this weird, like, secretary, like, you about to get fired right now type of vibe? Like, what is up with this? All right. What was your question again? How um how do you envision spending your holidays with your future family? Oh uh, well, I have a very big um family right now. Okay. Um, I have a mixed race, uh, you know, Mexican, black. So we have a lot of get-togethers, and um, you know, I love to take my my future wife, my girl, to those get-togethers, you know, and uh, maybe go there with them one uh, holiday, and then we'll do like I don't know, a getaway, me and my my lady. For another holiday and just mix it up you know whatever however you feel comfortable you know if you want to go with them or we can just hang out with each other or, but definitely together for sure what's your favorite holiday honestly thanksgiving because okay. you don't really have to buy presents per se and everybody gets together the kids are there everybody's there so i say thanksgiving okay and i love thanksgiving too, so. <laughs> um you said that you're half mexican well yeah my mom is uh is Cuban, Mexican, and black, and my dad is black, so. So do you know multiple languages? Uh, I speak Spanish and a little bit of French, but Spanish, yes. Say something in Spanish. Um, <laughs> estás muy bonita, y mm. me encaes muy bien, y si quieres te quiero llevar pa, pa una cita. <laughs> hey, fuck it with that nigga. <laughs> When that nigga talking that Spanish shit, she is like, mm. She said, mm. Let's do her. When that nigga start talking that um, Spanish shit. That's muy bonita. Mm. Yeah, she, she fucking with that nigga. <laughs> that's the winner. <laughs> Yo, that's ridiculous. You speak Spanish? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just interested. I would yeah. love to pick up a second language. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was asking. I was trying to see how fluent you really were or if you knew that second language at all. Yeah. No, yeah, Spanish and then I'm working on my French a little bit. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah. <laughs> oui, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm sorry, where are you where do you oh, live? Where are you from? Um, well I grew up out here in the valley, okay. but I was born in Illinois. But I moved out here when I was a kid, so I think I was like eleven. Mm. So okay. I'm from I'm from the valley. I'm a valley boy. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she fucking with okay. that nigga. Yeah. You got a tough decision. Uh oh. She fucking yeah, with yeah. that nigga. Sure. I would love to hear your answer to how you handle stress and conflict. Mm. Um uh, how I handle stress. Um, up until recently, I wouldn't realize I was stressed. I would have so many things on my plate between work, entrepreneurship, family, and then it wouldn't be until the last minute. It's like, oh my gosh, my body is trying to tell me that I am stressed. So um, I want to say over the past year, I have learned to manage my stress a little bit more by having open communication, taking walks, and just trying to figure out what is 
stressing me out. Like, what do I need to take off of my plate in order to not be so stressed? Um, how I handle conflict, I would say Arguing. what I also have learned recently is ask questions right away when it comes to conflict, whether it's with your loved ones, your family, or even your friends before it gets too bad. Cause I have bottled up my, like, I have bottled up things in the past, but I have recently learned that that is not healthy and that's not serving either relationship no matter what the relationship may be so now I'm just a little bit more um, forthcoming with questions and just you know asking whatever it might be may be that's bothering me or what I need to know the answer to I love it thank you all right I'm gonna have you now pop one of their balloons I feel like I feel like she gonna go with the Spanish nigga. Right? That's my first initial like answer. But if she goes with this nigga, I can understand why. Cause that whole God conversation thing they was having, I get it. But off my initial just like thought. I feel like she's going with the Spanish nigga. <laughs> yeah, I know it's tough. <laughs> yes, it is. This is a great lineup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, she went with. Okay. Yeah, he I get it. Yeah. Popping his. Um. There's no reason. It's be just like really. In particular, I just had to make a decision. I really loved your answers, and and I really like that you're fluent in Spanish. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Gracias. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she was fucking with him. She was fucking with him. Yeah, I, I see why. Okay, let me have you come on up here. Come on up, come on up. All right, y'all. So I have one final question, if there's no other questions between the two of you. Okay. How do you define success? I define success as doing what God wants you to do because my role models are in the Bible and a lot of them didn't have money. A lot of them forsook their families just to preach the gospel and follow the calling that God had on their life. My version of success is being in God's perfect will. So that's my version of success. It's not about how much money we have, although I make money and though I provide, but just being the man that God created me to be. God and the only way I'm going to be able to do that I heard you say you were working on your relationship with God so it's to continue working on it working out that salvation with fear and trembling all the days of your life we're not going to be perfect but we can get as close to God as possible before we finally see him on that last day okay all right so is it going to be a yes for you for her absolutely yeah, absolutely uh, yeah. and is it a yes for you for him yes we got a man <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and take Finally, God damn. Finally. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, we going to end it on Dano. That was a long ass fucking time just to get one fucking match. Jesus Christ, my nigga. That's ridiculous. Whoever this fucking cameraman is. This <laughs> cameraman is a is wild but hey man if y'all enjoyed the video make sure y'all go ahead and destroy that like button make sure you go ahead and demolish that subscribe button make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell to be a part of the big bad gang and make sure you go ahead um and click that share button share it to your mama your daddy your brother sister your cousin your grandpa and your grandma because you know we out here trying to find us a nice sexy big booty thick juicy sugar mama who's gonna pay all of our bills yeah so i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video